Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to get the most out of attending a job fair or a career fair. I know it doesn't sound like an exciting thing, like, oh, there's a job fair going on, let me get prepared. But uh, trust me when uh, I tell you that doing a few things ahead of time will help get the most out of your job fair experience and help you achieve your ultimate goal, which is probably to move out of your parents' basement. I'm going to share with you a list of questions that recruiters typically ask students like yourself so that you can be pre prepared ahead of time and tell you what companies look for when they're uh, looking at applicants to hire. So let's get started. I hope you grab something to write on because I'm gonna be sharing a lot of tips with you. So number one, register for this event. If at all possible, register ahead of time. I know it might be tempting to say, oh, it's just a job fair, a career fair, like I'll swing by if I have the chance or something like that, but that's not how you wanna treat this opportunity. Companies typically spend a lot of time and money training a recruiter, a representative, you know, getting their materials set up and things like that. So you really don't want to squander this opportunity to meet somebody who may be able to help you get a job at one of these organizations. So register for the event. You'll probably be asked to attach your resume. So that's another good reason to update your resume. You probably want to bring a few hard copies of your resume to the event as well. I know everything is digital these days, but just to be prepared in, in case the internet goes down, you're the only one who has a hard copy of your resume and you get the job, surprise. Um, so you wanna be prepared. Um, it's just a, a good idea to, to have those things um, ahead of time. So make sure that you register. Um, Companies will look at the list of registrants ahead of time and they may be looking at your resume and they may say, oh, you know, this is somebody who I'd like to meet, hope they stop by the booth. But if you don't register, then, then they don't know that you exist. It's harder for them to seek you out. They have no way of contacting you. Um, so please register for the event ahead of time. Tip number two. Look at the list of employers that is going to be at the event and go through the list and see if any company interests you and make a list of the top 10 organizations that you're interested in learning more about. That helps you focus your time and energy because you may only have 45 minutes or an hour to stop by the job fair or career fair. The whole fair might only last an hour or 90 minutes or something. Um, and you don't have time to rush around every single booth, you know, so you want to be targeted in your approach. Um, so do what you can to uh, look at the list of employees ahead of time and say, you know, oh, there's, you know, there's some people who I really like to talk to. I want to learn more about their industry or about their company. So make a list of the top 10. Now you're being proactive rather than reactive. So first you registered for the event. Now you took the second step, right? And then you looked at the list of companies and you said, oh, okay, you know, this XYZ company is going to be there or something. And I've always wanted, you know, I've always been curious about them, wondered what it's like to work for them. Um, so now that's on your list. So look at the list. Um, make sure that you have your... Um, make a list of top 10 companies that you'd like to see. Just like you wouldn't sh go on a blind date without Googling the person first, right? I mean, no, who would do that now? So you're not gonna show up to the job fair and be like, oh, I wonder if ABC Company is here. So get look at the list ahead of time. That gets you you know, more excited about going and then you're, you're like, oh, I wanna go. I, I'm excited to talk to you know, at least three companies, hopefully that you're excited to talk to. Tip number three, now I want you to research those companies. You made the list of 10 or maybe even eight or five, but still research the companies and don't just rely on one source. Don't just Google them. I mean, Google them, but then look at the Wall Street Journal or look at the New York Times or look at, you know, whatever industry specific, um, you know, company that you're, that you're looking at, a, you know, an ad week or, you know, or, or whatever, um, and, and try to get as much information about the companies um, ahead of time. 
a lot of times you might only have eight to 10 minutes to talk to the person because if it's very crowded, they're going to kind of be like, oh, we got to spread it around. And, you know, um, you know, you're talking to them and it, you may, you might not get through all the questions that you want to ask them. So you really want to, you know, be targeted in your approach. So research the company so you know where to spend your time and you could really focus in on that. Doing your research ahead of time will can really pay off um, for you because you don't want to ask them a question that could easily be answered by um, looking at their website. You know, any, anybody can do that. So don't ask them basic questions. So I want you to research the company, take in all the information, think about what you're particularly interested in, and then come up with some kind of unique question, some kind of, you know, second level um, type of question. Something that shows that you're interested in working for them, working in that industry, um, pretend you're trying to get a second date, if you will. Okay, so that might be, be a way for you to approach this. Here are some sample questions. Remember, I told you to be prepared, so you might want to write these down. A, what are some of the most important traits you seek when hiring people for your company? So that gets the recruiter to think about, oh, you know, what are we looking for? You know, we're looking for, you know, fast learners. We're looking for team players. You know, they'll probably all say things like that. But it might be something more specific, like we're looking for people who already have their Series 7 license, if it's finance or something. Um, so those are things that kind of give you, that gives you a heads up. Uh, B, what are some of the biggest challenges facing your company? So again, you might get some stock answers, but... You might get the, oh, our biggest challenge is, you know, finding qualified workers like you, you know, to come work for us or, you know, our, our biggest challenge, um, you know, has um, is, you know, our rapid growth or, you know, you know, rapid expansion or something. So, you know, and that kind of it gives you um, a pathway to follow with your follow up questions. Another question you could ask is how has COVID affected your firm? You know, everybody's got a story um about you know remote working and and learning zoom and, and you know and just you know the way that COVID has affected us um so i'm sure that you're you'll get a variety of responses from that d how did you get your foot in the door with this company so then the the recruiter might say oh you know i knew someone who worked here or or i came in through you know a job fair you know such as this one or i was recruited you know as a senior in college or or i did an internship i mean those are those are all you know all good stories and then and then you could follow up with that you know oh you know if you are looking for an internship that's something you could say oh is that internship program you know uh, still happening or you know you know because of covid is it you know back in person or is it remote so those are the types of questions um, that you want to ask and lastly how is success measured or defined in this role <clears throat> if that's applicable to um, say they're hiring for a specific position um, a CRM position customer relationship management position or, or something you can just straight up ask them how is success defined in this um, and that may you know maybe a good eye-opener so those questions will get you started uh, please research the company and come up with some specific questions because you really want to impress the, the recruiter. Tip number four, practice your elevator pitch. Your elevator pitch is your 90 second infomercial about yourself, about your unique value proposition. What do you bring to the table? Why should employers hire you? So I want you to do some thinking about that and come up with a 90 second spiel, a, an elevator pitch about yourself that talks about your skills, what you bring to the table, what you're interested in, what you're passionate about. Um, so those things, um, that's always good to have in your back pocket. Um, don't get caught off by the recruiter who says, why should we hire you? You know, and they'll say that, you know, some people will be really brusque like that. Um, so it's, you know, it, it'll be all types of things will happen at a, at a job or career fair. Um, you could talk about some different technical skills you have. You could say you're great working with people or, you know, you're great at sales. Um, you're a fast learner. Um, you're bilingual, you know, just make sure whatever you say that it's the truth because you don't want to get a job. And they say, you said that you were bilingual and have your series seven and you're like, whoa, I never said that. 
Um, make sure that it, you know, it's true. It's at least somewhat relatable to the company. Um, and that's when your, your sort of savviness at going to a job fair and a career fair, um, come in handy. Um, the first one is a little awkward. And then after that, you get a little bit more, um, you know, able to talk off the top of your head about specific skills that you have and kind of, you know, um, making them apply to different industries. You will find a job, I promise. Uh, please leave a question or a comment below and remember to hit the subscribe button. And always remember to keep learning.